Welcome back. This is Wisconsin Shoe Guy, and today we're going to take a look at the hand welted Italian Oxfords and choose my favorite. Now, these are all really great Oxfords, um, and uh, the, I have the uh, this is a Palo Scafora, uh, which is on the uh, door last. Um, this is a Stefano Bemmer, uh, part of their classical line. Uh, this um, here is also a, a Palo Scafora, a 707 Adelaide. Uh, this is a Enzo Bonifay on the 946 last. I actually have another uh, shoe on the same last, which is a whole cut, but I thought I would only have one since the shape of the shoe is so similar. And then this is a, um, a Macariello uh, Principes 2.0 on the uh, Chisel 2 last. Now, these are all hand welted shoes. Um, uh, there is uh, a, a variety of different things that are done here. Um, this is called Goodyear welted, but it is all done by hand. And it is uh, a hand welted insole, um, not a gemming. Um, this is your, your more traditional hand welted shoe. This is a Norvegies, um, which uh, Palo Scafora does incredibly well. Uh, this is your Typical flat welt, hand welted. And this is um, also a flat welt, hand welted, but has this beautifully carved and intricate uh, edge and sole and waist, um, which is uh, really very, very different. So, uh, of course, when you look at them, you also see that they're all very, very different in terms of leathers. Um, this is uh, a natural suede. This is a uh, uh, Vukalu calf. Um, this is a beautiful, um, very, very soft calf skin. It might actually be Vukalu as well. I'm not sure. Uh, this is um, Horween Hatch Grain. And then this is baby calf on the cap, uh, both the, the rear cap, the front cap, and the facing. And then this is Kudu, like a shrunken Kudu. Just is a beautiful, heavy texture to it. One of the things I like best about Macariello shoes is that he works mostly with natural textures. Uh, so, um, you know, whether it's peccary, uh, whether it's traditional pigskin, uh, you know, he, he works with uh, all, all different types of exotics as well. Uh, just beautiful, beautiful textured leathers. Um, I actually saw on his website when I was going through his MTO, to MTO tool that he has bighorn sheep, uh, which is this beautiful, beautifully incredible uh, texture to it. So um, hopefully at some point I'm able to uh, to acquire a pair in, in that leather. It's just so cool. So um, so as I look at these, you know, the, the question really comes down to, you know, which one is my favorite? Now, um, I love the suede. Uh, this was my first um, foray into Palo Scafora. Um, it's a little dirty, um, but uh, the suede is just absolutely brilliant. Um, just very, very comfortable. The, the lining on this is, is incredible. Uh, the, um, the fit and feel of the, um, of the Stefano Bemmer is wonderful. And this medallion is really unique and provides just a really uh, great view when you're wearing it, right? Nobody really sees the medallion but you. And, uh, you know, it's just, it's, it's a beautiful medallion. Uh, the patina and color on, on the Scafora Adelaide is, is so uh, cool. It has this uh, subtleness and a, a harshness at the same time. Uh, this amber color, um, I really, really like. Um, from a comfort perspective though, um, they're new, but not my most comfortable shoes. Um, so definitely not up there from, from that perspective. Uh, the the um, Enzo Bonafe is great. One thing I've noticed about uh, both the Enzo Bonafe and the Scaforas are that they're not very much asymmetrically welted. And so here, let me, let me explain what I mean by that. When you look at the Stefano Bemmer and you look on the inside, the inside is actually higher than the outside. You see how much tree you see there where you didn't see any tree before? It's not tremendous, but it is uh, not nothing either. So if you look at this, and that's really, really close to being the same. 
Do the same thing here, right? Still very, very similar um, to, to being the same. And I find that this is a big difference in comfort um, on the shoes, uh, where I, I feel like, um, you know, the Bemer and the Mecca Riello are really just a step above. So I'm gonna go ahead and just remove these other shoes so that we can stay focused on the two that are my favorite. So now we have these two. Now from a fit and feel, uh, the Mecariello um, is, uh, is the nicest. Uh, between the two, I've had the Mecariello less time uh, than the, the Bemer. Although of the five, the Scafora Adelaide is actually newer. But as I, as I think about here from, from my favorite, um, you know, one of the things that, that folks have talked about uh, many times uh, in the comments and, and on all of the shoe forums and so forth is having a pair of shoes that's kind of like a holy grail. Uh, a lot of people call it a grail shoe. And um, if I'm being honest with myself, my first real grail shoe was this shoe. And that's because it was uh, something that I saw on Instagram first, then I saw it on his website, and I, I drooled <laughs> over this shoe uh, for, for three years and, and really just absolutely loved this shoe. And it wasn't, oh, I really want a shoe from him. It wasn't, oh, I want any shoe. Oh, I want anything. I wanted this shoe. And um, then when I went and I finally, you know, saved up my money and, and went to the site to buy it, he was having a special, just like he's having now, where it's a hand welted version of the shoe and it's in a patina um, option. So you're able to actually choose any patina that you want uh, from his selection on this shoe. And I chose this one, which is called Lantra, and I couldn't be happier with it. It's the perfect shade of brown where it works with dark colors and it works with light colors. It's just kind of in between. It has this olive hue to it. Just a, a wonderful, wonderful color and a wonderful shoe. So, and of course I opted for this extra bit on the, on the sole, on the waist, which I have to admit is absolutely incredible. And if you look at the heels, absolutely incredible you know now i mean look at the the sole here it's very nice you look at the heel it's very nice but it's not this nice right so sole leather waist lining comfort everything about this shoe says it's my favorite so now in the next episode, I'm going to compare this shoe with the favorite that I had uh, from the last episode, which was also a Mecca Riello and is a whole cut version here. Now here you have, this is the Chisel 2 last. This is the Hawksbill last. Of course, uh, this is also a hand patina. Uh, this is a hand museum calf. Very, very interesting shoes and can't wait to talk about them next time. Thanks so much for watching. Have a wonderful day. Let me know in the comments if you agree with my selection.